Okay, next movie, and our next film is a whimsical charmer named The Sandlot that, oddly enough, paints a completely different, opposite, much happier portrait of a young preteen. The movie takes place in the early 1960s in a never-never land of an idealized American small town where a new kid in the neighborhood would love to play baseball but is utterly ignorant of the game. Just stand there and stick your glove out in the air. I'll take care of it. That's Tom Guyery as Scotty, the would-be ball player. Encouraged by the bigger kid who lives to play baseball, he eventually does become a teammate and friend of the others in adventures like this one, where one of the kids proves he will do anything to attract the attention of the sexy lifeguard. Okay, I got it. I got it. Come on up, Wendy. Everybody look back. Look back. Got roll him over. Scotty borrows an autographed baseball from his stepfather and is horrified when it gets hit into the next yard. Yeah, she even signed her name on it. Some lady named Ruth. Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth! Why can't they just go next door and get the ball? Well, because the yard is guarded by a dog so ferocious that it is known only as the Beast. So they try harebrained schemes to get the ball back. Close catapult. Catapult's closed. We're gonna get it, come on. The movie has a nice comic rhythm, getting its laughs from exaggeration and pure fantasy in those inventions where they're trying to get the ball back, instead of bogging down in a lot of dumb plot points. And I, I can't tell you how relieved I was when The Sandlot did not end with the kids winning the big game or indeed even playing the big game. This movie is a little treasure. Well, I like that too. I was expecting it to go in that direction. Yeah. That was fresh. Uh, I enjoyed the film. Uh, I enjoyed the spirit of it that you're talking about, the, the big animal behind the, the <laughs> fence. I mean, and, and you see it in a shadow at one point, you hear the monster growls. Uh, I like the film. There are a couple little points that just bugged me because I thought they could have had a really something special. Uh, Babe Ruth is misspelled on the baseball by one of the kids who should know better. The kid doesn't know it, it, who Babe Ruth is, but then he knows his real name is George Herman Ruth in another scene. Um, they're all little kinds of mistakes in the picture. Uh, I still liked it. I think he finds out that it's George Herman Ruth. Yeah, it, it does, we don't see that. Well, he, obviously he does, but we don't see any justification. Well, I think those are very minor points. There are, a lot, it, there are others, too. This is a genuinely it's entertaining a, it's film. It's an enjoyable film. Coming up next, certain to be one of the most talked about movies of the year, Robert Redford is willing to pay one million dollars to sleep with another man's wife to be more in indecent proposal would you mind lending me your wife excuse me 